Hi, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this series of episodes, I'm going over the toolbar in Premiere Pro. I've been going over the functionality of various tools inside of this toolbar here. And in this one, I'm going to be going under what is called the Remix tool. The Remix tool is found under this uh, second one down here on the left-hand side. If you have this little arrow right down here in the bottom right-hand corner of this, this means this menu expands. Right now, that's the ripple edit. So if I hold my mouse over this and click on it and hold, it'll expand that menu, and then I have access to the Remix tool. For some reason, there's not a shortcut tool to it like on these other ones, but this one, you just hover over the ripple edit tool, click on it, hold it down until it pops this up and select Remix tool. Now, what the Remix tool does is if you are using music that is not written specifically for your movie, but you want to use music that's a similar tone, if you find royalty for music off something like Incompetech or uh, YouTube or anywhere you find your free music, sometimes the music doesn't match the length of the film. Like, like right down here in my timeline, this scene here lasts 48 seconds, and the length on these songs will do not match the length of the timeline. They're all, each one uh, is longer. A minute 34 for one song, three minutes and, and five seconds for another, and three minutes and 22 seconds for another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose which song I want to use. Like if I want to use this bittersweet song right here, double click on it, load it, and this song, once again, if I drag this down on my timeline and put this music on the scene here, uh, let me hit the slash by the return key, look how much longer this is here than my scene. I could simply just cut this. I'm going to hit Command K and cut my music off, hit V for my selection tool, drag it over this music and delete it. And now it's the same length, but here at the end of the, of the piece, the music basically just cuts straight off. Like that. And you could do a fade out on this. I can hit, can hit Command Shift D and it does a fade out, so it's a little bit softer. But I like the way the music ends, and it would be nice to use this music here at the end, the way it, like, uh, it actually comes to a stop. So the strings basically fade out to nothing there at the end, and I like that ending. So if you want to make this fit, Premiere basically uses AI within the Remix tool to basically find out what portions of the song that you can cut out and blend them together so you can start with kind of this, you can start with kind of this hard start here at the beginning where the music doesn't fade in, but it starts. And then it has the natural kind of like strings end and just kind of fade as the noise from the strings just basically fall off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use a Remix tool. I'm going to go under my Remix tool here. And uh, we're going to grab, we're going to go to the end. Actually, before I do this, I like to do a couple things. I like to cut off, uh, if there's any quiet, like uh, several seconds of quiet at the end, you can cut that off here. Uh, this has just maybe a little bit. I'll play through this. Right about there. And I have uh, some songs you might have like three or four seconds of quiet at the end that you can just cut that off, basically. I'm just going to hit W and it deletes everything and it trims it. Uh, to that point right there, it cuts it off basically. And I'm going to do the same thing to the beginning here. I'm going to go to the beginning. This has a little kind of amb ambient noise uh, pop at the beginning. And I just wanted to start, do a hard start, like right there, right when the music starts, right when the uh, movie fades in. So I'm going to hit Q, which will eliminate everything to the left. And now I've got my music track ready. I'm going to slide it into place here. So at the beginning of the movie, when we play... We'll be finished and I, and I am going to mix this so it uh, is a little bit more under their voices rather than uh, competing with their voices. But let's get this music track edited here. By hitting the remix tool, go and grab the ending, go to the ending of the song, and trim it over to match the ending of my movie here. And I let go, and it will process and analyze here. And now after it's done, you'll see these little marks going throughout the song. These are portions of the song that it has cut out where it has done the cut. I uh, took out a gap of music and pulled them together to make one solid song. I'm going to solo this so we can just listen to the music and not listen to the dialogue. And let's see how well that blends this together here. And that sounds pretty seamless there. So it took a big chunk of the music out from this. And remember, this is like a three-minute song, and it's edited it down to around 45 seconds, 48 seconds long here. If I go through the other edits here, we can listen to those. See, it even stays It even stays on beat, which is really nice. It finds a beat that it can match and a tone that it can match and it cut, cuts out a bunch of audio in between. And here's the last one. Once again, sounds very seamless. And at the end of the song and at the end of the scene, the movie and then the music both fade out there. So after I'm done with that, I can select this and I can set my general audio level. I'm going to bring it down by about six decibels. I'll hit G for gain, hit negative six to bring it down by six decibels, hit return, 
hit enter on my numpad here, and it brings it down uh, by six decibels. But then when the voice speaks right here, I'm going to add keyframes by hitting command or control click if it was on a PC and adding these two keyframes here. And then I'm going to go to the end. We're going to add a, a pivot point right here and end at the end as well. I'm going to do a total of uh, four keyframes after they say the last line. Let us know if there's anything. So thank you, detectives, the last line. I'm going to put two more keyframes here. And now we're going to grab the middle and we're going to turn that down so we can hear the voices be prominent over the music. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. And at the very ending, the audio stays dipped down until it reaches the last line. And then it turns back up after he speaks his last line. Thank you, detective. And there we go. So that's the remix tool. I'll continue this series of tutorials on the toolbar in Premiere Pro. In the next episode, we'll be going over the rectangle, ellipses, and polygon tools. Thanks for watching Chinfat. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.